Should you plan yourself an engagement party, stag and doe, or ditch both? These pre-wedding rituals can be lots of fun, but neither are mandatory. And if you're on a budget, definitely avoid the engagement party because unless you have really generous parents, you're usually the ones paying for it. If you are going to have an engagement party, typically you or one of your parents would host it. Engagement parties are meant to be fun, with good food and drinks, and intended to not only be a celebration of your engagement, but also an easy way to have your bridal party and your closest friends and family break the ice with each other. Some ways to throw your engagement party include throwing a formal dinner or having the evening catered in, or you can do something easy and order pizza and wings with a little beer and champagne. If you're a more casual and relaxed couple, keep it casual. Think about your guests as well. Are they the type of people who will most likely be comfortable showing up in jeans and a t-shirt? Or are a good chunk of them super into fashion and love dressing up to the nines? Try to have your engagement party somewhere that's nice and open so guests can mingle without being too squished. In a home with a nice finished basement can be great, and if the weather's good, an outdoor engagement party in a backyard rocks. Have activities like pool or Jenga that guests can play as a smooth and easy way to get to know each other. You know when you're at a party and you want to try and be social, but you don't want to be overly awkward, so you just keep to yourself? Well, engagement parties are meant to let people get to know each other, so make this process easy peasy on your guests. Activities are a great way to ease pressure. Games like engagement Mad Libs or the shoe game are a lot of fun to play at engagement parties, and these kind of games really keep the pace of the evening moving along nicely. Have photos of you and your fiance as kids up and sprinkled throughout the party. This is cute, and also your guests will really enjoy them. A slideshow of photos from your engagement shoots, always nice to have playing on a TV screen too. Have decor that fits you and your hubby to be. If you're into country, have some hay bales sitting around and clothespin some photos to some twine and hang them up. Wear a cowgirl hat and play country music. Make your engagement party you. Let's talk about gifts. Usually your guests will buy you engagement gifts, so get your registry taken care of soon or people won't know what to get you. If for some crazy reason you don't want to accept gifts at your engagement party, make it known when you send your invites out. And speaking of invites, you can invite your guests to your engagement party by sending out an engagement party email, you can make a Facebook group, or if you're down to dish out a little money, send invitations in the mail. But seriously, for an engagement party, it's not worth the invitation cost. People aren't gonna have the invite up on their fridge months before like they would for your wedding invite. Remember to include in your invite the time, date, and location of your engagement party. Where to park, if it's casual or fancy attire, if there will be food and drinks, and to RSVP, so you know how many people to expect. You should also consider offering your guests a spot on the couch overnight if your engagement party is gonna be a drinking fest, or make sure there's a number to call an Uber or cab visible and ensure that all of your guests are getting home safely. If you are going to do an engagement party, don't do a stag and doe as well, and vice versa. Doing both plus having bridal parties and a bachelorette party can be a lot for your attendees to set aside time for and buy presents for. I prefer engagement parties over stag and does because engagement parties take place early on in the wedding planning stages, so it paces wedding event events out a bit better, whereas stag and does often happen a few months before the wedding, so it feels like it's really go, go, go. Consider this when trying to decide which party to throw, if either. Okay, so now let's talk about stag and does. If you're gonna throw a stag and doe, the intention here is to raise money for your wedding. You invite everyone you know and ask them to invite pretty much everyone they know. You want as many people to buy a ticket for your stag and doe as possible. Yes, you sell tickets. And don't make them more than around $15 because you'll also have games and raffles at your stag and doe that guests will be dishing out more money for. And the intent here is to get guests to attend. Ask a community center or a hall to give you a deal on renting out the place for the evening. And if you can, call in favors with anyone you know who has access to a venue that can hold a few hundred people. 
You can provide alcohol, but sell drink tickets to help pay for the cost of it. You and your bridal party can make snacks like cookies and cupcakes and do a bake sale. You can provide chips, salsa, veggies, fruit trays, chicken wings, pizza, basically finger foods. Another really easy way to make some extra money is to do a 50-50 draw or have raffle tickets and have cool gifts to give away to the winners. Decorate with your bridal party and have your stag and doe themed to make it more fun. A Hawaiian theme where guests have to wear lays and beach shorts is goofy and easy, but really remember to make the theme of your stag and doe about you and your fiance. You can create games that guests have to pay a few dollars for to play and assign the bridal party to host each game. This is a good time to delegate tasks to your bridal party. Assign people to host games, help with decor, make a music playlist, carry in alcohol into the venue, pick up snacks, and so on. Stag and does can be really great ways to raise money for your wedding. But don't have a stag and doe solely looking at how much it's going to benefit you. It should be enjoyable and memorable for your guests. And yes, sometimes you will make tons of money from your stag and doe for your wedding, but you also may not make as much as you expect to on your stag and doe. The event and the memories made matter just as much and more than the dollars made. Whether you choose to celebrate your engagement with a party or try to make a few extra bucks to put towards your wedding, remember to call on your bridal party team to help with planning and the actual event to make sure you have help where you need it so that people also feel involved and so the event turns out to be amazing.